Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content that we put out. Now, if you want to get in contact with me to talk about your training business and you want more help, simply visit the description of this video below. There's a number of ways that you can get in contact with me to get more help with your business, either work with me or we can book a free 15 to 20 minute call where we jump on Zoom, I can ask you some questions about your business, see where you are, see where you want to get to, and I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale your soccer training business to the next level. So today I want to talk about how to get in front of a decision maker at an organization. So a lot of questions I get asked every day is, Leo, I want to partner up with a local organization. Or Leo, I want to partner up with a local soccer club. Leo, I want to partner up with another coach in my area who is also running a skills training program. And what we, what I want to do is I want to offer my service to them. But I need to get in front of the decision maker to be able to do that. So when I look at getting in front of a decision maker, I look at three very simple steps that you need in order to be able to do this okay now when i started my business i have i had to do this and when i'm currently in my business now i'm doing it all the time right for me decision makers are people that either have the money so for example it's it's a parent right parents are decision makers because ultimately they're they're deciding where their child goes a decision maker at an organization could be the president, the CEO, or the program manager, someone that is in charge of allowing you to come in and provide your service to their players or kids or or, or children. Okay, so it's someone that is able to make a decision on whether they want to work with you. That is what essentially a decision maker is. So how do you get in front of them? Now, when I look at this, I look at three very simple things. The first, the first bit is do your research, right? So if you want to work with a local club, first thing you have to do is you have to do your research on the teams, on the coaches, on the players, on the structure of the, of the club. And you've got to do a research on what is the philosophy, what are they struggling with, what do they need more help with, what are they not being provided, okay, and how can you add value to their program, okay, so when, when I think about getting in front of an organization, I think about first doing research on the structure so who's the president, who's the secretary, who are the head coaches, what are the players, what are the parents like at that organization, and how can I add value? So a number of ways you can do that. You can go onto their website, do some research. You can go out to the field, go and watch some, some matches, and make notes on certain things that you feel. Do you know what? If I come into this club... This is what I can provide. Okay, so do your research. That will really help you because when you when you get in front of the decision maker at some point, you're going to have to provide value to their program and you're going to have to provide something that they don't already have. So that's do your research. Who's at the top of the chain? Who is the gatekeeper? And essentially, who are the head coaches and the rest of the staff that are at the bottom? Next bit is how can you get how can you communicate with that decision maker okay so what is the best way to do that is it to go to the club is it through a coach is it through linkedin is it through email is it through mail is it through giving them a call straight away what are the different ways you can do to get in front of that decision maker okay so once you've researched the club what is the club about what do they do what do you feel that they need more more help with 
and how can you provide value? The next step is, right, how can I now get in front of that decision maker? What's the best form of communication to do that? Now, when I was looking to work with organizations, what I would do is I would create these fake accounts, okay, and I would send out emails. Now, the intent of this was to see, right, if I send out an email to this email at the club, will I get a response? If I did get a response, then perfect. That's, that's their form of communication. So you can try this by phone, call out the club, pretend you're a parent, see what kind of communication uh, happens. And then if you see, do you know what, that, that form of communication works now, we can, we can go and we can approach them formally and talk to the decision maker the way we want to do it. Okay, so for me, it was obviously email at, at the beginning. I figured out, right, if I connect with this club via email, I'm going to get a response. Okay, so club, organization, work out what's their best form of communication to talk and, and do that, right? So research, communication. And now you've got to do a presentation. So once you've done your research, once you know how you're going to communicate with that club or decision maker, now you've got to work out how much value you can add to what they're currently doing. So if you know that they don't have any private training or there's no skill specific training, maybe that's some that's a value that you can add to their program. Okay, because the moment you get in front of that decision maker, you have to present yourself as someone that is coming in, wanting to work, wanting to help, and providing something that that, cl that club, that team, that organization don't currently have. So if you want to get in contact with me, you want a couple of ideas or you want to learn a couple of ideas on how to present to a decision maker at a club or organization, what services to offer, okay, a few ideas that you, you can go in and say, right, this is what I'm looking to do with your players. This is how I'm going to help them to get better over a period of time. This is where they're going to get to if we do this together. Okay, if you want more help with this, get in contact with me again. Visit the description of this video. You can book a free 15 to 20 minute call via Zoom or you can get in contact with me through either WhatsApp or via email at makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Okay, so three simple steps to get in front of a decision maker. Number one, do your research on that organization or club. Number two, work out what form of communication that decision maker works with. Is it via phone? Is it via email? Is it via social media? Is it through the website? What way do they respond to emails or communication? And then three, what are we going to now present when we get in front of them? So how can we add value so that that decision maker looks at your email, looks at your text message, or, or when you get on the phone with them and they think to themselves, do you know what? This is what we need. Right. If I bring Leo in, Leo is going to solve a specific problem for my program, which we aren't currently solving. Okay. So if you want more help, again, visit the description of this video. A couple of ways you can get in contact with me. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all 